we want to simplify the given square roots. We know from the previous examples that if a squared is equal to b, then a is the square root of b. But notice in this case, there's not a number times itself that's equal to 50. But a square root is not considered simplified if it contains perfect square factors. So we do want to simplify this by identifying the perfect square factors. And the best way to do this is to look at the prime factorization of the radicand or the number underneath the square root. And one last thing to notice, these are principal square roots, so we're only concerned about the positive square roots. So for the prime factorization of 50, we can write 50 as 2 times 25, and 25 is 5 times 5. So the prime factorization of 50 is 2 times 5 times 5. Well, Any time we have two equal factors, we have a perfect square factor. So here's a perfect square factor, so this can simplify. And the square root of 5 times 5 is equal to 1 factor of 5. So we have 1 factor of 5 times the remaining square root, which is square root 2. So again, whenever we can identify two equal factors, that's a perfect square factor and it will simplify. Now let's try the same for the square root of 675. So we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of 675. Well, it ends in a five, so we know it's divisible by five. 675 is five times 135. Five is prime. 135 ends in five, so it's divisible by five. This would be five times 27. Five is prime. 27 would be three times nine, where three is prime, and nine is three times three. So we have three factors of three and two factors of five for the prime factorization of 675. So we can write this as three times three times three times five times five, and I will group pairs of factors. So here's a perfect square, and here's a perfect square. So the circled part is going to simplify, and the factors not circled will stay underneath the square root. So notice how the square root of three times three is three, the square root of five times five is five, so these will be outside the square root because they simplify. And then we're left with the square root of three. So this would be 15 square root three.